All right, so this is gonna be fun. This is um, this is a butt right here. Now, <laughs> what uh, what do men and women have in common? They have a butt and uh, nipples, but um, so this butt we're going to see turn into a machine. It's going to be a robot, yeah, but that's just what we are. Like, we're discovering that we are actually computers and we are, in a sense, artificial intelligence because we were created not from the original creator, right? But from the Elohim or in the clone world, the Demiurge or whatever. And so, let's let's watch um how it's told in the modern day uh story because this wouldn't be this wouldn't make any sense thousands of years ago but today this makes sense now it's the same story as adam and eve okay this is adam uh adam right here and um sorry let me just explain mr and mrs jacks are going to be the designers of this okay so they're they represent the male and female the masculine and, and feminine uh pure of that and then at the end uh it will be this is the success of creating eve because really this butt is turning into eve it's all about eve and really the story has always been about uh evolving you know like we're already in man's image and man is masculine where the the you know so we're more male male would be more masculine and feminine would be more feminine so we're in the masculine world where we see things and that's what we see is all considered masculine all right so let's get on with this though <clears throat> Okay, get the spark plug going. Okay, this is Mr. and Mrs. Jacks. Okay, so <clears throat> all of these people and these numbers being interesting, uh, the people involved, the uh, 818 employees, would be the many different gods or consciousness that uh, played part in creating this achievement that they have given birth to. So these gods are cons would be the Elohim, and that's what you know um, created man in order to you know mine and you know do work for the gods. But we are the gods, you know. It's always we're always figuring out that that it goes further than us, and so they've understood. They, it's never it never ends at the planets or anything like that. So don't don't ever get fooled with that and what I talk about the planets being the gods, because the, they're they're not that they're not god at all. It's you know what would be considered god beyond these planets is a different type of body. It's not this this body of the planets. It's the body of the sun, and you know it's the sun that really is the portal. It's these suns are portals, and this is what we evolved to learn. So in this case. The sun is, would be the Mr. Jax, and then the feminine is going to be the feminine, the space that the dog star, at least we can we are fig figuring out. And the dog star, it's all weird because that system is younger than really the um, solar system that we are in. And uh, because of that, you know, it's it seems strange that the sun would appear in our solar system you know, after creation of, you know, Saturn, and then, you know, the serious 
serious that that, that system is you know younger than our system so but check out how it's the Asians who are the ones who are creating this and in the beginning uh, you know doing all this have the mission created this this thing well it's like we're getting back to where we're understanding the beginning even further so yeah this is the modern way of showing how creation goes so you'll have to watch this video by yourself obviously but um, let's let's see what she says and then what it goes into okay that is is just so interesting I mean that's what love is is it's <laughs> it, it, it's this process of evolution there's been a separation from the pure feminine and masculine a long time ago and now we're going back to that a, a pure masculine and feminine we all start from both and then we understand stuff better and we divide and stuff like that but then we come back together at times this is all it's part of the cycle okay so this is obviously <laughs> interesting we got the original man and woman or the whole system of masculine and feminine in the middle right there so these two Sirius the dog star and space we're gonna understand space further and also understand um, in millions of years from now uh, what is beyond the Sirius dog star sun because they all have their roles right now but as we evolve we'll discover stuff that's other stuff beyond what we can see now in the stars see that's how it evolves that's why mythology evolves is because it's things that play out in this in the heavens and it's taken record of but you know it's all really showing something it's not just taking record of the skies it's actually showing what is life in the process of creation it, we see it in each of our lives we see the process take place that's what all we are doing is is redoing creation all the time this is time uh uh repeating itself but it, you know it, it doesn't necessarily do that but it it's that's what this is that's the idea <laughs> so we got the black girls and how did we all start on this uh on this earth we were black that's the original uh man and woman in my opinion would be black adam and eve probably black whatever um if there was a man and woman the elohim probably black I don't know, whatever the Lucy and whatever the evolution I begin, I, I believe, begins with black. So it's just interesting the um, different, you know, how it's turned around, how the Asians are uh, the ones who have started it. And now they're the supposedly the last, you know, race to evolve uh, on Earth. Okay, and then this last part, um, the circulation, okay, currency, money, money, moon is really, you know, it, why the moon is called the moon and mono one is all, you know, just language and it all has to do with the stars. 
and not the stars but the heavens and so it's a symbol that has been in our history and so it, it's very significant the, the the name money and also the symbolism on the dollar especially the dollar symbol but also other uh, currency symbols monetary symbols um, and so this circulation is just how it's you know it's energy um, it, it was all created yes we can live without money but then what are we going to be doing who is going to be motivated to do what and then what position are those who aren't motivated in to they're just they don't have the motivation to make money or anything so you know they don't get the currency moving and uh, that's just you know that's a dead end right there you know uh, it's it you know it's not about the monetary so it's not about the uh, paper currency it's about the idea and so it is this idea about currency about time about symbols about our whole entire life how it's repeating time within each of our individual lives and just how life goes how this cycle is that we live in like isn't you know uh you know it's 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 evolved and you know it's nothing to try to destroy and stuff like this this is just you know what we're understanding is you know uh and it's i mean i don't know money is just interesting it's it's not like it's uh evil or good it's just what what we've come to uh what we've created to get the energy flowing that's what the currency is so it's the it's the um, connection between masculine and feminine or positive and negative and we're in a we were in like we're our discovery of nuclear uh fission and also computers and the internet is only stuff discovering stuff from the past this is just rediscovering what we are actually from what we are we are computers and we are in a simulation and you know all of it this is this is we're just recreating everything that we've already been created into and as we create further we recreate our own beginning but then we go on further and that's this point where we have gone from the above to the below and now we're going back to the above and we don't even know it you know we're all there we're all being pulled this tail being pulled uh, upward and you know we don't even know it so mo some people aren't even can you know don't even care some people are trying and trying and trying when it's actually already there for you and then some people are looking for more and more answers when once again it's always there for you you're never going to get someone to describe to you exactly a to b to c to z and onward nobody's going to be able to do that for you that's why we have a system of this good and bad okay that is the dualistic system it needs to be here in order for us to develop our brains or to, or or activate our computers to the point where now all of us are born into this activated computer where now we understand that we are born into heaven we're not even you know, I mean, time won't even exist the same way that we think of it as. This is the same exact thing as the controlling the symbolism and the money and our idea of it. It's not only controlling it physically. It's controlling the idea of it so that we can't even make it. We can't even attract it to us because we don't even know what it is. Okay, so they control the idea of money and time.